Okay, so now I'm going to press start. So now she's on. Now I've got to click down in to turn my fan on. Um, now I set the pressure for my rear discs, which will come up on the gauge. Okay, so there you go, I'm at like just under 40 now. So now I turn on press that button. So now we will lift up and down. I'll go back and go to the GPS. Then I press this button here to turn my lines on. And now. And these lines are showing exactly where we've been, right? Well, all this green here is out. I can change the colour. So this is out. I've done the headland in part of Hill and Barley, which is blue. And now I've got to change that before I forget. So now that's in green now. So now we are ready to go. So now I'll press press the button now for auto steer, and you can watch 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 it turn. Oh, this is neat. Okay, so now I put the drill down. It builds up the pressure, and I put into cruise control. And literally, you don't have to touch anything. Oh, yeah. 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 Boy, we're racing now. Huh? How fast are we going? 18k. 18k. So now, if we go back to the computer, you can see it's putting out seeds, fans good. The seed, and this is that green mark is our tolerance of where we can be seeding. So we could, so we could go up. I, to, I can go faster. You could go up to 14 miles an hour, right? But yeah, I can at go the moment, we just get about 10 or 11. Yeah. I'm making sure my fan's on. Making sure you got your AC working. Yeah. Check it out, you know. They have a look through the thing and I play. See, I've got my procedural set up in there, the Bollinger. It's four meters wide. And it's seven and a half meters long, I think, the procedural. So that's why on the map, the black bar at the back, that's, that's the full length. Mm. Track the setting, I can set my cruise control. I can set my front linkage, height. So, yeah, cruise control, I can set push. I can set up my rear linkage. Settings. I've got my spool valve settings there. Well, right now we're using the blue and the yellow. The blue's in constant. Uh, 
um, I can assign it whatever small valve I want. If I want the blue on the map, I'm using yellow currently on the map button, and if I can change it to red, I can change it to blue. 